Welcome family, this is the Velvet Locks with another video. Now, in this video, as you can see, I look a hot mess, okay? I don't have my hair done. I just colored it yesterday. I have to do some taming with this color on my edges. But as you can see, I have no makeup on, okay? So I'm looking real busted right about now. Well, I'm going to show you how I'm going to slay my look. Looking busted too batty, okay? Because I have some place that I'm going to today. Matter of fact, I'm going to my favorite spot, which is by the water. And I'm going to be going to Coney Island uh, Beach today. So, not going on the beach, but hanging out at the boardwalk. And I think I'm going to take you guys with me as well. So you can see some of the sights of New York, Brooklyn, New York, Coney Island, Brooklyn, okay? So, yeah, I'm looking busted, but huh, check it. Girlfriend going to be looking batty pretty soon, all right? So, let me start off right now. Now, right now, I don't even know what I'm going to do to this hair. Whenever I don't have my hair already pre-curled, best believe I'll probably go to my go-to style, which is my side swoop. Mm. Alright, so let me do that real quick and I'll be right back. Well, I got to do something with this. Lord have mercy. I got to oil down my hair. I got stuff to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is shake up my growth oil that I created and try to do something with this dry hair because after after I washed it and colored it yesterday well actually after I detoxed it okay and I got a video coming up on how to detox your hair especially your locks and most of you lock wearers probably already know how to do it but for some of you newbies that don't know how to I'm going to show you. So let me try to moisturize my scalp because I did not do that yesterday. Now I don't condition my hair because my hair is very fine and very soft. So I don't do that because it will unravel my hair. Believe it or not, after being seven years locked, my hair will unravel with conditioner. I pretty much detoxed all of the buildup in my hair so it is really dry but I'm gonna start off with my scalp first I like to use this orchard oil I got this in my beauty con box once and I really love this this is a color protectant oil and it has a UVA UVB um, sun filters so being that I have color treated hair I like to spray this on my hair and it smells so good. Oh, wow. So I'm just going to put that lightly on my locks. On the shaft of it. Because, yes, it is very dry. Especially after coloring it. It's very dry. But it smells wonderful. And some of you might be wondering, what's going on? You colored your hair, but yet you still got some, like... Look at that. That's that Vivica Fox hair, that, that, that extension that I put in my hair when I was um, putting extensions on my baby locks. Okay? That thing does not take color at all. So, still looks the same. But I gotta find that stuff. I really have to go online and find that. I love the way it smells. Next, I'm just gonna moisturize my hair. Uh, Whenever you getting ready to style your locks, you should always put some moisture, some water in there so it can be pliable. Easy to manipulate. <laughs> Had to change my battery, you guys. So next, now that my hair is nicely moisturized, now, I'm not going to do a full blown out video of step by step of what I do because my battery life is very bad. But yeah, so now I'm going to slay down these edges, okay? And what I like to use is my Eco Styler Gel um, and my little brush, my little toothbrush. This toothbrush is for my hair, has dye in it, so don't mind the color. All right, but I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do with this hair. So I'm going to play around with some options and I'll come back and show you right before I set my hair down. Because after this, I got to jump in the shower. So let me figure this out and I'll be right back. 
All right, you guys, I am back. So right now I got my hair setting and you can see my hand still has that color on it from yesterday. So I'm gonna go take me a shower and start my makeup. Mm. Be right back. Hi, hi, right, you guys, so I am back. Mm. I just started my makeup and forgot that I didn't even put my camera back on. Came out the shower washed my face and made a change of plans <laughs> still going out but not where I wanted to go before but that's good because I'm going someplace better so yeah you guys I have a poll on Facebook and also on my Instagram right now for you guys to pick what I am going to wear tonight so the two outfits that you see in the back nope not this <laughs> The two outfits that you see in the back are the choices that I have. So, it's either my Gucci inspired two piece crop top skirt set or my metallic, my sheer savage bodysuit with my metallic camo skirt. And they're both mini skirts. So, yeah. So, I'm just trying to get my face snatched right now and almost there you guys almost there but while I'm doing my makeup let's do a little chit chat okay let's do a little chit chat this is not going to be a full makeup um, video I guess in between my stages I'll probably do a little a little slash video a little slash commentary not commentary but I guess a little chit chat. Now, let me ask y'all something. All I see on YouTube and Facebook is this crazy craze about the doggone Popeye chicken sandwich. What is this world coming to? I've never seen such craziness in my life, especially over some food. And it's not like we have a shortage of food on this earth, but just to see how people are just going real dumb over this daggone Popeye's chicken like they've never experienced eating before. Before Popeye's, we had KFC, we had Wendy's, and now we have Chick-fil-A. So now that Popeye's is finally getting on board with this whole thing of having a chicken sandwich, everybody's losing their doggone mind. Mind you, that chicken sandwich was out like months ago in New York City. And me and my family went and had it. There was no excitement. There was no crazy lines around the block. There was no selling out. All the craziness that you hear about it now. It was just, it was out like months ago. But I guess it hit now. The thing is in New York, it didn't do, I didn't even hear about it. I didn't hear about it. It doesn't seem like they was really advertising like that. And you didn't know really about it until you got there. At least that's what we did. But now you see on the news, everybody and their grandmother is making videos. Reaction videos. And they looking real... I'm sorry, y'all. They looking real stupid. Real stupid. You got... <laughs> I don't know if I should call names. But I've seen videos with everybody just about making videos. And acting like real... Man... To me, it's embarrassing. It really is. Like they've never had food before. Like they've never had fried chicken sandwiches before. And just the whole idea to see how this thing has gotten so darn crazy where people are waiting 24 hours for doggone food. Like there's a shortage on this earth. People are or are waiting doggone hours in line and to the point where they finally get up there it's sold out you see people fighting I mean fighting the the, the workers of Popeyes because they have to tell them that it's sold out and people actually getting to the point of being enraged and striking these doggone workers like what the heck is going on food oh my gosh 
Now, something tells me they put something in that chicken. Honestly, in the South, I don't know what they sending y'all over there. Or whatever other part of the world outside of New York. Because when they, the ones over here, they don't have us going crazy like that. No. I honestly believe they did something to that chicken. Where everybody's acting real dunce. Real dunce. Fighting. Standing in line for hours, hours over some darn chicken. Then everybody and their grandmother is on here making doggone reaction videos. Like, y'all don't know what the heck food tastes like? Oh my gosh, I am so embarrassed, honest to goodness. Embarrassed. Straight up embarrassed. Embarrassed. I'm sorry. It's really a crying shame that people are going all out stupid. To the point where they, everybody, like they don't have nothing else to do on their channel but to make videos about some damn food. Food reaction. Popeye's chicken. Oh my gosh. They did something to the chicken that they're sending y'all, I swear. I don't understand. Now when we had it, yeah, it tastes good. It wasn't the craze. It wasn't like, oh wow, wow. Honestly, my favorite is Chick-fil-A. I like the way that tastes. Chick-fil-A, because it's juicy, but it's juicy and it tastes fresh. I also like Wendy's. Okay? Popeye's is just another sandwich. Nothing spectacular, nothing different about it. It's just another sandwich. So why is everybody going mad crazy over this thing? Dang, I don't understand. I just felt the need to mention that while I'm doing my makeup. Mm-hmm. I just don't understand it, y'all. This world is really getting real crazy for nothing. All right. So that's my little commentary <laughs> while I'm doing my from busted to bougie look. So right now I'm on my makeup part of this whole whole thing. And I have my two outfits that I'm waiting to hear from you guys. I did on my community posts. And also on my Instagram posts. Asking you guys to pick for me. You guys are choosing my outfit for me. Okay? Y'all are choosing my outfit for me. So it's going to end soon. Because once I finish my whole look, I got to put my clothes on. All right. Whew. And by the time you see this video, I've already worn my outfit, and uh -huh, you'll see what I, what which one won. Okay. So let me finish up because I am burning up right now. Lord have mercy, it's hot in this room. I got my air conditioner going, but whoo, it's hot. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna save some of this battery life, and I'll be back.
it's me. So I'm off on the road right now. I want to thank all of you who helped pick my outfit out for the day. And yes, your girl is on the run, okay? So I'm heading out to Connecticut right now. And uh, I wish you all the best on this weekend. So I'll catch you on the next vlog. See you later. Hey fam, where you going? You didn't subscribe yet. Well, listen, first of all, before you go, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget also to turn on that notification bell. So this way you will not miss another one of my videos. Okay, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, click it, and then hit that little bell and make sure that it's lit. You will miss out on so much if you don't hit that subscribe button. And also hit that bell next to it. Make sure that it's turned on, so this way when I upload another video, you will not miss it at all, okay? You will be the first to know. So don't forget, give me those likes, thumbs up, and hit that subscribe button along with the bell at the bottom, and you will always know when I upload another one of these videos, okay? So, I'll see you in the next video.